grandmother had gone into my father's apartment and found him lying on the floor dead. My father had a history of heart problems. Uh, he had a heart attack so, within the past couple of years. Five years ago today is the day that I got the phone call at work. It was started as a text message from my uncle asking if he was okay to call me and got the phone call where he turned and said he doesn't know how to say this, but my father was found dead in his apartment five years ago today. <sighs> it's been a long five years. I, I usually uh, cope with things via gallows humor, as I found out. I joke around saying that maybe this project won't have as many issues. I only have... I don't exactly have another father to die on me. It's awkward humor, but my father probably would have enjoyed it. I don't really know how to handle things like that. Death is kind of weird to me. Uh, I've mentioned this before, but I'm a secular humanist. I don't have any religious belief or anything, so my idea of what happens after death is nothing. You're not there anymore. Uh, it's like, uh, what did I want to have done with my father's body? And my answer is, well, it's my father's body. He's not there anymore. And he, that's a dead body. Uh, it doesn't particularly matter to me. Um, or my father's things. And, they're just things. And would any of them bring my father back? No. So what difference does it make? Uh, as long as I have something to remember him by, and I do, that's all that really matters. I. It's weird. Uh, I remember being asked what I wanted to have done with my father's pocket knife collection, which I know he. I knew he liked Swiss Army knife style things, and. I know he had several, he had more than I was expecting, but then again, his house was a wreck. Chances are he kept losing them and buying more. Um, I didn't want them, though. They, they weren't sentimental to me. They didn't have meaning to me. But you know what I have saved? Every voicemail that he sent me, or that he, every voicemail that he left me, they're all saved. I save them off of my voicemails, save them onto my computer, back them up in three different locations. That is sentimental to me because I can go back and hear my father's voice. I have photos of him. I can go back and see my father. These are the things that matter to me. Um, I have his stuffed animal. Uh, the one that he grew up with. Uh, the one that my stuffed animal is right here, Mr. Rabbit Ears was named after. It was the name of his stuffed animal. Uh, those are the things that matter to me. Things that remind me of his life. I don't particularly care about things that remind me of his death. It's like, to me, why bury somebody into the ground? If you have a memorial of their life, that's fine. But that's just a dead body. What difference does it make if it's in the ground? What difference does it make anything like that? I understand it from other people's perspectives when they have religious traditions that they want to follow and so on. I don't, so that doesn't really make a difference. I... I do miss my dad. Uh, he was definitely not the most perfect person in the world. Not even close. There were a lot of things wrong, but... In hindsight... Yes, son. Don't worry, you'll be in the video. It's just, I need to talk first, okay? Um, in hindsight... I can recognize a lot of the same things that are wrong with me mentally and him. Um, I knew he... Yes, son. Fine, I'll sit with you. How about that? So, I knew that my father had been depressed. It was really obvious. Have even more obvious than any of my depressions have... Periods of depression have been. Um, but he... 
he had been depressed for quite a bit longer. And looking back on it, I can see signs of it. At the time, I didn't notice. Part of that was because I was a kid, and part of that was those weren't things I was looking for. My father had anger issues. Uh, he was technically the second worst boss I've ever had. Um, he, The way he handled stress was very bad. He would start getting into a rage from being in stress. Not that he hit me or anything. I mean, I was spanked as a child, but not hit out of anger or anything. He didn't abuse me. But, like, for instance, when I was working for him, when he was my supervisor, he would get really upset about something and just slam his palm against a cubicle wall as hard as he could, knocking everything over. And that doesn't work very well for me. That's not the way I work, because I pull off of other people's emotions and feel them, especially the negative ones. So all that did was make me feel like garbage and even more stressed out so I endeavored to make sure I would never feel that I never make somebody else feel that way it's not my thing also I've decided you need more cat video because you know yesterday's video of nothing but kitties wasn't enough right so <laughs> so yeah my father was a complicated person he was a human being just like most people are um doesn't mean I didn't love him. Of course I loved my father. He was still a cat lover. He was still a computer geek. He still enjoyed technology. He still made me me in a lot of ways. I, yeah, I was more attached to my mother. Still am more attached to my mother for that matter, given that she's still alive. But, Yeah. Every year prior to this one, other than when my father actually died, I did some type of tribute. I would play a game that he and I enjoyed, or something like that. I didn't do that this year. Um, I don't know if I can. I, I'm looking at Zone having a very fluffed up tail for chasing his own tail. Um, it's already defluffed, otherwise I would have shown you. I, I'm not doing well this year. Uh, this is probably one of the worst years I've had. If not the worst year that I've had, I'm not sure. Depends on how you count it. Um, and I don't really give myself that much time to play video games. He and I used to play video games all the time together. I really enjoyed that. Sometimes he'd be the one controlling things, and I would be giving tidbits, looking at how he's playing, looking things up in strategy guides, researching maps, those types of things, or vice versa. I would be playing and he would be doing those things. I miss having that. And my kitties, regardless of how crazy they are, are not good substitutes for somebody playing a video game with me. Um, I don't know where I'm going with this video. Just, death is weird to me. That's... Yeah, I I don't know what to do about it. It's been five years. I'm confused by zone. I wonder if there's another cat outside. What are you doing, kitty? What is it, my kitty cat? Are you upset that I'm talking still and not going to bed? He's just running around. In crazy cat era mode. He'll calm down the moment I lay down to go to sleep. Probably. So yeah. Um, death is weird. It's been five years since dad died. and In some ways it feels like it's only been yesterday. And in some ways it feels like it's been 20 years. I. Yeah. I miss you, Dad. I know you'd be proud of me. You were proud of me before you died. You've said that a lot. I'm the first member of my family who graduated from college, for that matter. Um, well, my aunt graduated from college, but I mean more like immediate family and grandparents, not necessarily aunts and uncles. Uh, 
Yeah. I don't really have much else to say. Good night, Internet. I'll talk to you tomorrow.